This amazing story was published on a popular Indian newspaper called The Wire. This is the story of Siddharth, an Indian man belonging to the upper caste society of New Delhi, and once a Hindu devotee. Siddharth came from a family of practicing Hindus, from a family where visits to the temple were strict routine, presenting sweets to the gods for blessing mandatory, and celebrations of each festival managed under their priest format. As he turned 19, he questioned the culture he practiced and the environment he lived, where each day a week belonged to a god and ancestral habits were followed for tradition. Upon receiving no legitimate answer, Siddharth set off to write his own. Siddharth picked up the Quran, the Book of Allah, practiced by Muslims around the world, and studied the contents that lay upon it. He was inspired by the message of Islam and heavily advocated for Islam's narrative of equality, stating that equal respect for all, be it a beggar or a banker, should be a mandate to live life. As Siddharth stepped further, into the religion that translated the world peace, his environment at home constricted. He started to secretly offer Salah, fast for Ramadan, an annual custom. Sensing the distance, his family and friends kept a close watch on him and regularly looked for any signs that would lead them to understanding his antics. Unfortunately, a usual family raid in his room led to his family finding his Islamic cap, a prayer book, and prayer beads. Siddharth's friends in the society also questioned his family about the recent entries in the local mosque. At 23, Siddharth was disowned by his own blood and left to fend for himself on the streets. However, none of the inconveniences deterred him from his calling and soon after, he converted to Islam in a local mosque and assumed the name Shadab in 2012. Sheltered by a Muslim friend, now family, Shadab started working and growing towards living a better life. As he listened to news of religious instability in the country, saw the horrific instances of animosity and felt the vulnerability of living as a controversy, Shadab soon realized his trials were not over. Playing the role of Siddharth by day and unmasking the reality of Shaddaa by night, he lived life. As the Adhan was recited, Shaddaa reached forward to wear his prayer cap but stepped backward when Siddharth came up to stop him. As Shaddaa listened to the sermons in a local mosque, Siddharth's knowledge of temples beckoned him to follow tradition. Shaddaa lived life under a constant shadow of Siddharth for eight years until the daily riots happened. He realized it wasn't him leaving Hinduism that spurred the animosity. It was the acceptance of Islam, its values and ideals. Working with relief teams, Shadab recalled his own experience as a Hindu, stating that he has hated Muslims for most of his life and today he is proud to call himself one. Shadab also acknowledged the severity of the religious controversies if one identified as a woman, feeling that the laws of conversion in his country do not celebrate a female's automatic behavior. Shadab says that while it's one's legal right and personal choice to decide which religion to practice or preach, the publicly motivated climate in India leaves Muslims no choice but to hide their identity. May Allah help all the Muslims and keep us safe from any harm.